Hello everybody, Mikey here, or Burns Post, like I always say. And guys, I have something earth-shattering to share with you. A theory that I think may be too controversial. We play as Phone Guy in FNAF 4. Now, I know, I know that sounds crazy, but just hear me out. Okay, let's jump in. So my first piece of evidence, the FNAF 1 references. So as we all know, FNAF 4 is very similar to FNAF 1, and before I thought it was just a coincidence. But now I realize it was the phone guy the whole time. I mean, who else but phone guy would know about the FNAF 1 gameplay? Well, obviously, it could be Michael. Nah, it's phone guy, because what can you hear as the distorted audio in Night 1 of FNAF 4? That's right, Phone Guy's voice. He could be having nightmares about the night shifts. Don't worry, I'll get to the experiment theory in a little bit. Alright, so you may be thinking to yourself, okay, but that's clearly a child's bedroom with the plushies and the toys on the ground. Well, I got two answers for you. For the plushies, Phone Guy worked at Freddy's for years, so he probably would have some merch that he got over the years. It makes sense for him to have a Freddy plush, because, you know, that's the main mascot of the restaurant he works at. But what's the other plush he has? That's right, Foxy, Phone Guy's favorite character. Now, what about the toys outside of the closet? Well, this I have some flimsier evidence for, but what if Phone Guy is just in touch with his inner child? I mean, he talks about the animatronics in a fond way, and maybe that's why he works at Freddy's in the first place. He just likes being there because it reminds him of being a kid again. After all, it is for kids and grown-ups alike. Now, what if it's an experiment run by Afton? As some of you may know, there's a FNAF book that states FNAF 4 is an experiment run by Afton. So, how did Phone Guy even end up there? Well, what if after Phone Guy dies, he actually does hold out until someone could find him? But instead of helping him, they covered up what happened to him by putting him in Afton's old experiment rooms. I mean, would you put it past Fazbear Entertainment to do something like that? So it would explain away the toys found in the room because they weren't his toys and it wasn't his room. But yeah guys, obviously this was more of a short silly video. Obviously I don't think we play as phone guy in FNAF 4, but I thought it would be fun to go over anyway. Let me know if you guys would want more of these short silly theories more often. Comment down below your own short silly FNAF theory. Alright guys, that's all for today. Thank you all for watching. Stay safe out there and may the stars shine down upon you. Bye!